Welcome back, my calculus adventurers. I am so glad you guys asked this question. What's the difference between an indefinite integral and a definite integral? You're probably just starting to learn integrals right now if you're asking this question, and it can be a little hard to understand what exactly is the difference. They look almost the same. If you look really carefully, um, there's a slight difference. Indefinite integrals never have numbers here on the integral symbol, and definite integrals always have numbers here um, on the integral symbol. Sometimes there'll be letters, but letters representing numbers, not variables. So it might be like A to B, um, but A and B represent numbers, not something that can vary and be anything. Okay, so that's how you identify which one's which. Definite integrals have the limits of integration. Indefinite integrals never do. And, um, but what they are, and a definite integral will always equal a number, and an indefinite integral will always equal a function, technically a family of functions, because plus c can be anything and still satisfy this. And those are different things. Like a function is pretty flexible. Um, it doesn't really give you an answer to a concrete specific question, like in the same way that a definite integral does. If you remember, a definite integral finds the area between the curve and the x-axis between the specific numbers you give. And so this sort of curvy trapezoid thing, this area, is going to be whatever number you get when you calculate the de this definite integral. Whereas this function, it doesn't give you like a very specific numerical area, but that's because you didn't make the problem very specific. You didn't decide where to do the area between. And so the answer stays pretty general. As soon as you decide where you're going to do the area between, this eventually can turn into a number using the fundamental theorem of calculus. But most integral problems are given either as a definite integral or an indefinite integral. It's good to know what to expect your answer to be. Here we'll always have a function, here we'll always have a number as our answer. If you've already done derivatives, which you probably have if you're studying antiderivatives, um, it's a little bit analogous to what's the difference between f prime of x versus, say, f prime of 1. So f prime of x will be the function that you find when you take a derivative. And f prime of 1, on the other hand, is after you find the function plugging in, and you'll get a number. And that'll be the slope of f at x equals 1. So this difference between indefinite integrals and definite integrals are very analogous to the difference that you started to experience in derivatives. Um, f prime of x equals a function. f prime of 1 very concretely gives you the slope at a particular number. Um, it's the answer to a very specific question. All right, so comment down below what kinds of integrals are bothering you, what kinds of videos you want me to do next, and I'll answer whatever questions I can. Have an awesome day. Bye.